I did the first test flights of my half A Zeke with the extended wing using the Holland Hornet the other day. I ran the engine briefly at home, but not long enough to find out that it really wasn't running very well. I just couldn't seem to get a good needle valve setting. The engine would quit. I just managed to get one short flight and a couple of really short flights where it quit right away after launch. But then it came to me that maybe the glow head was bad because I would touch the glow clip again and then it would run better. So I put in a different uh, glow head and ran it at home and it ran pretty good. I had some really good flights with my GTS Falcon. This first flight, it went way high. You can't really tell it in the video. I hit the DT right away because I was afraid it was going to land in those trees over there. I had tightened up the mylar on the wing, and I think that kind of helped. And I figured out the pattern that seems to work well is to bank it quite severe to the right. It goes up, and then it rolls over to the left and then rolls completely on the top. I was just uh, watching a video of uh, Guy Manano flying a satellite and it seemed like that did a similar pattern. In the past I was trying to get it to spiral to the right all the way up and then turn left but it seems like if it does that half roll before it gets up to the top. Uh, it seems to be more consistent. It was gliding pretty well too, even though it's rather heavy now. I'm just so happy that I have the electrical problems figured out. I made some flights with my electric ranger, but I hadn't got a full charge on the batteries, so it didn't really climb very high. But this uh, flight was kind of fun to watch as it stayed so close. I wasn't really prepared to go flying this day because the long range forecast looked windy, but then I noticed it was supposed to be only four miles an hour, so I really had to take advantage of that. Well, I'm hoping for good flights with the Zeke next time out.